with your finance, please feel free to approach me. And of course, most importantly, we have the listing agent of the property who many of you would have met over the last four weeks. Now, should you require any assistance with your bidding, please feel free to approach any of the agents here. They'd be more than happy to assist you. Now, we are selling today by way of public auction. This means that a 10% deposit will be required upon signing the unconditional contract. Sentiment terms quite flexible, 30, 60 or 90 days. We are conducting a Schedule 1 auction today, which means that today's auction will be conducted in accordance with any rules or additional available for inspection prior to the start of today's auction. Now, as your auctioneer, I will be indicating bidders on request and the vendors do have a reserve price. Now, the law prohibits me as an auctioneer from accepting any bids or offers after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. In other words, this means that no late bids are permitted under Victorian law. The law also prohibits false bids from the crowd. It prohibits major disruptions by bidders. It prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and it provides fines for this conduct. The rules do, however, permit vendor bids. The words that I'll use to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are uh, simply the words vendor bid. Now by law, only I as the auctioneer may make a vendor bid today. Now today, one of two things will happen. Either one, we will sell this property under the hammer at or above the vendor's realistic reserve price, or two, the property will be passed in. Now in the event that the property is passed in, please note that only the highest bidder will be reserving the exclusive right to negotiate with the agent and owner at the completion of the auction. So two very important points before we get started, ladies and gentlemen. One. No late bids. No late bids are permitted under Victorian law. Once the property has sold under the hammer, then we're all done. If I'm not looking at you when that occurs, you have missed out. Point number two, as I just said a moment ago, only the highest bidder will be reserving the exclusive right to negotiate with the owner should the property pass in. Only that buyer will have the first right of refusal. And the reason why I really harp on these two points is quite simple. I'm trying to make it very clear that you must bid today if you would like to be in the running to purchase this absolutely incredible property. The current owners of the home have given a complete facelift to the property, ladies and gentlemen. The amount of expense, hard work, energy and effort they've put into renovating this property to ensure that the lucky purchaser today can move straight in and enjoy all of those or all of that hard work. And of course, one of the other benefits is the incredible location we find ourselves in, of course. But I'll go through that in just a moment. Let me touch upon some of the key features the property offers. If you're a smaller family looking to grow, if you're a larger family looking for more space, then we have ample accommodation here with five bedrooms two dedicated study areas, and of course, two bathrooms as well. A full ensuite to the master, central bathroom to cater to the rest of the family members, plenty of storage throughout the property, zoned living spaces, so there's definitely flexible living options, a brand new kitchen, the property has been painted throughout, there is ducted heating, there is ducted cooling, there are multiple split system cooling systems as well, informal and formal meals area, a brand new stone kitchen with Bellini appliances, we've got gas cooktops, electric oven, plenty of cupboard space as well, perfect for the budding chef. In terms of outdoor entertaining, firstly we've got multiple zoned, uh, well, Mutu Dana, thank you for joining us today. Everyone, Mutu Dana has joined us, should you require any assistance, Mutu is also here to help. Multiple courtyards as well, so we have our own heated spa, uh, central to the property, we have our own courtyard, perfect for a summer barbecue. Ladies and gentlemen, very large gardens that have obviously been manicured. We have ample car accommodation as well with a double garage. Also the garage here, or both of which are remote with rear access should you have a boat or simply would like to drive the car through, of course, or even if you're entertaining friends and family. The location, second to none, of course, we're in a quiet core location, so very safe, very secure and very quiet. We're moments away from some fantastic schools. We've got Camelot Rise Primary. We've also got High Vale Secondary. We've got a secondary. We've got multiple shopping centres within easy reach, whether it be Central Vermont South with trams all the way into the city or buses into the other direction to Westfield Docks. Of course, the Glen Shopping Centre only moments away. We've got Eastling Freeway moments away as well that would take you all the way to the Mornington Peninsula or in the other direction to Eastland Shopping Centre. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me summarise what we have on offer today. An absolutely incredible, fully updated property on a block of just under 800 square metres in an absolutely incredible location that is close to public transport, quality schools, restaurants, shopping, you, what more could you ask for? Or of course, my favourite, but Morag Public Golf Course. So, on that note, I'm now going to hand it over to you. But before I do, let me remind you that Lily here, Ming, Sergey, Min, Julie, or Mutu here would be more than happy to assist you with your bidding. So feel free to approach them 
should you require any assistance. Ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'm going to hand it over to you. I'm now going to ask for a fair and reasonable opening bid to get us underway. We are here to sell today. You're here to buy. Who'd like to raise their hand and get involved with purchasing this absolutely incredible property? Don't forget that you must bid to buy. I understand putting in the opening bid is always a bit difficult, but you must show your strength. 1.43, welcome to the bidding, sir and ma'am. Good luck today with your bidding. 1.43 is here. Looking now for a rise. I prefer a rise of 50, but I'll consider other rises, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 1.43, which is still below the lower end of our quoting range. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, we have started at 1.43. 1.45. 1.45. I'll take the 20, but no less at the moment. 1.47 if you'd like to come back in. Two horse race at the moment. I welcome any new contenders. 1.45 here. No less than 20,000 at the moment. 1.47. 1.48. 4.8, even better. 4.8, welcome back at $1,480,000 against you. Looking for a rise of 20 to 1.5. 1.48 is here. 1.49. 49, I'm looking for 20. 1.45, we're going to get there anyway. One, is that a nod? 1.48 is here. 1 there it is. 1.5, welcome back at 1.5 against you now at $1,500,000. Everyone else, welcome to join in at any time. 1.5, the bid is here to my right, looking for 1.5, is that a nod? 1.52. 52, there it is. 1.52, that's 1,520,000. You asked for 10 earlier, I'll take five, it. 5.4, even better. 1,540,000 now. Another 20 on top if you like. 1,500,000. 1.56. 5.6, there we go. 1.56. Over to you now, ladies and gentlemen. 1.56. Would you like to ask me whether we're on the market or not? Ask me. Thank you, Sergey. Yes, we're on the market. 1.56, we're selling today, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing for keeps. 1.56, the bid is here. No further bids, you'll be the lucky new owners of this incredible home. 1.56, make no mistake, the hammer will fall. As I said at the beginning of the auction, if I'm not looking at you when that occurs, you've missed out on this incredible property. 1.58. 1.5 and against you at 1,580,000. 1.6. 1 1.6. Lily, I think we might have bet you to the post there. 1.61. Wow. There we go. 1,610,000. Happy to take the 10. Ming, it's against you. Lily, against you. Min, against you as well. We're at 1 million. 1.62. There we go. Welcome back at 1.62. Falls back in your court there, Sergey. 1.63. 6.3. Okay, there we go. 6.3. It's against you now at $1,630,000. The bid here, the hammer will fall. We're playing for keeps. The auction at the business end of this auction, ladies and gentlemen. $1,630,000 over here. First call at $1,630,000. Second call, one million six hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Third and final time. Over here, are we absolutely certain we're ready to let go of this absolutely incredible property? Okay, if that's the case, thank you for your bidding. We've still got about thirty seconds to think about it. One point. Can I confirm the bid here? One point six three. Yes, correct. Right. Thank you, Sergey. One point six three, Ming. Sir, ma'am, we're at one million six hundred and thirty thousand dollars now. I'll take a rise of five if you like. Just to move things along, 1.6. 635. 635, there it is. Against you again, sir and ma'am, at 1,635,000 now. 1.64. 1.64, there we go, 1.64. Against you, 1,640,000 here. Sir and ma'am, auction's not over yet, over here as well. 1.64, the bid across from me here at 1,640,000. Got a big smile on your face there, ma'am. Smiling when you buy the property. 1.64. 1.65. 65. There it is. Welcome to the bidding today, ma'am, of one million six hundred and fifty thousand okay. dollars. One point six. Uh, one point six five. One point six five. We're already at one point six five. One point six five five. I'll assume. No, six. Six. All right. Let's clarify. We've got several people. One point six six. Yep. Thank you very much, sir. Ma'am, one point six six. One million six hundred and sixty thousand. It's against you now again, ma'am, at $1,660,000. I'll take five if you like for 665. Yes, $1,660,000. Bid is here at $1,660,000. Looking for 665. First call. 
at $1,660,000. Second call at $1,660,000. 1.67, even better. 1.67, now against you, against her and ma'am and Sergey at $1,670,000. Balls back in your court. 1.68. 1.68, thank you very much. Good strong bid of 1.68. Against you now, ma'am, at 1.68. And sir, I'll assume you guys are together. 1.68 is here. 685 or more. 1.68, that's 1,680,000 now. Looking for arrivals of 5,000 at 685, 1,680,000 going once. $1,680,000 twice. $1,680,000 third and final time. Are we all done? Are we all silent? Are we all finished? 1.69. 1.69, no we're not. 1.69 against you, against Sergey at $1,690,000. Perhaps 1.7 might be the knockout blow. We're at 1,690,000 now. Looking for a rise of at least five to 695, preferably more. 1,690,000 going once. 1,690,000 twice. 1,690,000 third and final time. Are we all done? Are we all silent? Are we all finished? We're at 1,690 now. If we don't beat, the property will be sold. You'll have missed out. And we're back at square one. 695. 695. There it is. Against you at 695. Of course, in front of me here, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Auction's not over yet. We're at 695 to my left. We need 1.7 to keep things moving along, brother. Family here. Again, auction's not over yet. 1.695. Bid is here. 1.7 to put you back in the driver's seat. $1,695,000. First call at $1,695,000. Second call, $1,695,000. Third and final time. You kept me waiting for that one, didn't you? You had it about five minutes ago. 1.7. We're at 1.7 here, man. We need 705 if you like. 1.71, even better. 1 million seven hundred and ten thousand. We have a new competitor again. 1 million seven hundred and ten thousand against you, Sergey. Against you as well. Against you. Against you. And against you. 1 million seven hundred and ten thousand now. Looking for a rise of five or more. 1 million seven hundred and ten thousand dollars going once. 1 million seven hundred and ten thousand twice. 1 million seven hundred and ten thousand third and final. Yes. Could it be that one bid buys you the property? We'll find out in just a moment. One million seven hundred and ten. Bam, sir, Julie. One point seven two. One point seven two. Welcome back. One million seven hundred and twenty thousand now, Ming. It's against you at one point seven two. One bid and we're done. Oh, we can't give up after one bid. We're at one point. I'll take a rise of five and keep things moving along. If you would like to stay in contention to purchase today, otherwise we will have sold. You'll have missed out. 1.72. Julie, the bid is with you. 1.72 going once. 1.72 twice. 1.72, third and final time. Ma'am, are we all done? Are you absolutely sure at 1.72? Another 5,000 if you like. <clears throat> We've got about 30 or 40 seconds to decide. 1,720,000 now. The bid here to my right. First call at $1,720,000. Second call, $1,720,000 now. Third and final time, $1,721,000. I'll take the one. Why not? 721, same courtesy for your life. Julie, let me make it clear though, 1,000 being the minimum bid that I will take today. 1,721,000 is against you. 725, I suggest, might be the knockout blow. 1,721,000, the bid is here, going once at 1,721,000. Twice at 1,721,000. 1.73. 1, 73, there it is, welcome back at 1.73. Against you again at one million seven hundred. No, no, that's a no. Okay, one million seven hundred and thirty thousand now. 
Still got a little bit of time to think about it. 1,730,000 bid is with you at 1,730. It's looking pretty good. Everyone's shaking their head at the moment. 1,730,000 now. First call at 1,730,000. Second call. Third and final sign. Are we all done over here? Are we 100% certain we're done? Okay, thank you for your bidding. If that's the case, I'll check in on everyone else and then we'll knock the property down. 1,731,000. Are we sure here? You started the bidding. Happy if you to finish the bidding? No? Okay, that's fine. Thank you for your bidding today. Sir and ma'am, are we done? Okay. Sir, ma'am, all over. 1,730,000. It's looking good. And the final family to check with? Shaking our head? Okay, that's pretty clear. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done today. 1 million. 730,000 now. If we are all done and we are all silent and we are all finished, are you ready? You're about to buy a house. This is very exciting. 1,730,000 now. Sell it. Sell it. So, congratulations. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to another Biggin and Scott auction. It's been a pleasure having you here today. Have a fantastic weekend.